Let's get you that top story. The late Minister of Environmental Affairs, Edna Malewa, has been laid to rest. President Cyril Ramaphosa has described her as a brave fighter. Here lies a woman who had courage, who was extremely professional in everything that she did, and who was guided by principle in everything that she did and said. These are qualities she displayed from her early age and which guided her throughout her rich political and professional life. Like many of her peers and those who came before her, her political activism started in the 60s when she was at the then famous Hebron College. It was at this dangerous time that she displayed her bravery and her fearlessness. Ramaphosa also hailed the late minister's work in rhino conservation. I heard someone even suggesting in a tribute to her that she is one of those who should one day be considered for a Nobel Prize for saving the rhino because her work has done a lot to save the rhino for future generations. Mulewa's son, Basiyami Sitema, shared good memories of his mother. Mama, you were many things to many people. You had programs where you adopted rhinos. That's all I heard, by the way. I was just worried I had to explain to my peers that I have a rhino as a sister. I was expecting my first child next week. I am expecting my first child next week. Her name will be Onalina. Onalina would love to meet her grandmother. And I know you are looking forward to meeting her too. I'm going to look at her every day and she'll remind me of you. I'll teach her everything you taught me and tell her about her powerhouse of a grandmother. Everybody my mother worked with became family to us. I mean the whole family. From Harangua to Cape Town to Mafigeng to the current Department of Environmental. I'd really, really love to say thank you for taking care of her while she was not home. I knew she was in good hands. I'd like to thank, take the time to thank the President the former president, for giving my mother such a beautiful opportunity to serve this country. To my family, mamas taught us any problem we go through, we go through it together. We won't go wrong. Mama, I will always love you. One young man brought much needed laughter to the ceremony with his exuberance. At first, I felt that Coco was a bit harsh and impatient at times. But as soon as I took the time to connect the dots, it all started to make sense to me. She was never a violent, aggressive, mean, selfish woman, as a few individuals sitting in this very room portrayed her as. Uh, well, to be honest, to be honest, that's the Edna some of some people know. But let me tell you about the Edna I know now. The Edna I knew, well, no, still, was very caring, loving, very understanding, humble, hardworking, and she, I don't know, she was, she was just very, very full of love. And I've learned a lot personally such as gratitude, accountability, kindness, and also, most importantly, how to do more and say less. Because I used to, I used to, you know, I was just that kid. <laughs> and, and also, lastly, as I conclude, I don't mean to go against anybody's religious beliefs or practices, but I hope you find comfort in the fact that we'll see her again someday that her tragic passing is not the end of the road 
And here I am representing my grandmother, not crying, because I know for a fact she wouldn't have wanted me to cry. If, if I cried, yo, way. <laughs> hey, you know? So um, I'd like to thank you all, truly. I'd like to thank you all for coming. I mean, it was crazy walking in here, finding Cyril. <laughs> like, yo. yo. But, like, anyway, thank you all. You guys have been amazing. ANC Women's League President Batabi Lejamini was also full of praise for Mulewa. Comrade Edna was not a coward. And she was the type of a leader that understood the struggle for women's emancipation. That understood that there are women that have fought hard for us to be where we are today. Women like uh, Mama Tlege, Madi Hall Kuma, Lillian Goy, Aitam Tuana, May Florence Mposho, Ray Alexander, Rahima Musa, and others. And therefore, we call upon all of us as we are celebrating 100 years of Masi Sulu to try and link them together because she was working with environment and Masi Sulu was a midwife that brought a babies to the world. And Usis Dinam says they saw her before they saw any other person. As an honor to Sis Edna, who did not melt like ice when it was difficult, who played a, a very critical role in uniting comrades uh, from Guazulu Natal when they were in the North and South uh, Poles. We, as the Women's League, we are going to put her name in the book we are writing of 100 phenomenal women in South Africa. Also today, Gauteng Premier David Makura paid tribute to the Environmental Affairs Minister. He says Malewa was not only dedicated to every portfolio she was appointed to, but had the ability to turn them into a success. Comrade Edna had an extraordinary ability to turn every responsibility she was assigned into a portfolio of significance. She approached every portfolio or position she was elected into or deployed to with a great sense of duty. She was profoundly conscientious and had this distinctive commitment to excellence wherever she was serving, whether as a teacher, as a trade union leader, as a freedom fighter, as a feminist, as a leader of the ANC and the ANC Women's League, as an MEC in the Northwest Province and the Premier, as a minister, and as a global campaigner for climate justice. Every government portfolio in which she served became something to turn attention to.